Hey guys, and welcome to another PS5 update video. We'll be bringing you any news, what's the PS Plus game for the PS5 this month, and what's in the recycle bin. Make sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell, and check out our gaming channel for some PS5 gameplays every Tuesday. Follow our social media pages for PS5 news that we share or retweet. But let's just get on with what's coming up. Let's take a look at the PS Plus game for PS5 this month, and we have Maquette. This is a first-person recursive puzzle game that takes you into a world where every building, plant and object are simultaneously tiny and huge. Sounds very confusing and mind-blowing to me, but the PS4 game is worth noting this month. Final Fantasy VII Remake is going to be the PS4 game for PS Plus this month. It was announced on the 25th of February. The PS5 version is being released in June. However, the PS Plus free version will not be able to upgrade to the free PS5 version. You need to purchase the PS4 version to get the free upgrade and then be able to purchase the Integrate DLC which includes two new characters such as Yuffie. Moving on to what game is being released in March 2021, and this isn't a new game, but brand new to PS5, and it's Marvel's Avengers by Square Enix. Marvel's Avengers begins at A-Day, where Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk, Black Widow and Thor are unveiling a high-tech helicarrier powered by an experimental energy source. The celebration turns deadly when a catastrophic accident results in massive devastation. Blamed for the tragedy, the Avengers disband. Five years later, with all superheroes outlawed and the world in dire peril, New Jersey teenager Kamala Khan uncovers a shocking conspiracy and the only hope is to reassemble the Avengers in time to stop AIM before they unleash one of the greatest threats Earth has ever faced. So we've played this game before on the PS4 and you can see my gameplay playlist on our gaming channel. We'll pop a link at the end of this video and in the description. But what is exciting with this is that it is the full PS5 upgrade version which will include the base game, the Kate Bishop DLC and the brand new Hawkeye DLC and it will be released on the 18th of March. It's priced at $59.99 which is an extra £10 from when it was released on PS4. However, if you bought this game on the PS4, you will receive the PS5 upgrades totally for free. And here's a tip, on Amazon at the time of recording, the PS4 version is $29.99, so you could save £30 if you do it this way. Digitally, however, it costs $45.99 on the PlayStation Store for the PS4 version, but this offer ends on the 3rd of March before going back to $59.99. The PS5 version is not available for pre-order, as if you already have the PS4 version, then you will get the upgrade on the 18th. Alright, so we have been given the release date for Resident Evil Village, and they released a PS5 exclusive demo called Maiden, which gives you a good feel of how spooky and creepy this game will be. Johnny VR did do a playthrough on this on the gaming channel, so make sure to check that out. The link will be in the description. The release date for this is 7th of May this year, so a lot sooner than we originally thought. We aren't going to go through the synopsis or the price as we will probably do that in the May update. But the internet has blown up from the Maiden demo with the reveal of Lady Dimitrescu. I hope I pronounced that right, probably not, let me know if I did butcher that. Capcom never thought that the internet would respond as it did with the love of this character. Some love a little bit more than appreciated, um, I think, for Capcom, but we won't go into that. But since her reveal, there has been so many cosplayers who jumped at the chance to be Lady D, and we'd like to thank these amazing cosplayers for allowing us to showcase their cosplays. Please do check them out, their Instagram handles are on the screen, and we will link each of them below. But Resident Evil Village's art director, Tomonori Takano, who designed Lady D, has stated that including her heels and hat, she is 9 foot 6. Wow, that is one tall lady. But moving on from Lady D, Resident Evil Village on the PS5 takes full use of the new technology from the haptic feedback adapted triggers so the player will experience every shot when you pull that trigger of a gun. Along with the PS5 graphics and some unsettling 3D audio, this will truly be an immersive horror experience. Probably not one for me, but I know Johnny VR will be getting it, so keep an eye out for his gameplay videos coming this May. But don't forget to check out his Maiden demo playthrough now on our gaming channel. 
Last month we reported on a most annoying glitch that we have been experiencing on PS4 games on the PS5. This was the fact that both versions of the game were being installed on the PlayStation 5, and even if we deleted the PS4 version, it would just install again automatically. This issue has been fixed in the February system software update, which is version 20.02-02.50.00. Now that is a win for us and other PS5 users having the same problem, now if they can just sort out the PS5 live streaming quality. Now on to our in the recycle bin items for this month. I have been talking to some disabled gamers over the last few weeks about the PS5 DualSense controller and their experience. People who have physical disabilities all have very different experiences and this also includes gaming. Some find it difficult to hold the PS5 controller because it is too heavy or the buttons are too hard to press or even due to their disability cannot use a particular trigger or toggle on the controller. Sony have stated that their console is very diverse and accessible but this is mainly aimed for people with sight or hearing difficulties. You can turn off the haptic feedback and adaptive triggers but as I said some people have difficulties using the buttons or the toggles. There are no controllers out there for Sony or licensed by them to help with this. The slogan play has no limit really hits home with some of these gamers. So what can be done? Well the Xbox does have the adaptive controller which is a modular control box meaning that you can add loads of different devices to it such as larger buttons, arcade style joysticks and so much more. This controller can be used on the Xbox Series X and Series S too. Also, Nintendo has licensed Hori, who created the Hori Flex, which is similar to the adaptive controller, but this is only available in Japan at the moment. Now, I could make an entire video on this, but as this is just our update, I can't do any more details right now. But do you want me to do a standalone video just on this issue? I can then interview some gamers and go into far more details. Let me know in the comments below. A glitch that we have recently faced is when I was live streaming Fallout 76 for Fasnacht. During the stream, the video stopped broadcasting and just went to the blue PlayStation screen. I tried to pause the broadcast and continue, but the blue screen remained. The only way to get around it was to start a brand new live stream, but then it happened again, twice during my live streaming session that day. Then, when Shaq did a live stream for Fallout Friday, around 30 minutes in, it happened to him too. We previously reported that our live stream quality on the PS5 is not that good, but this is very strange and something completely different than has happened before. We will try out other games soon to see if that happens, but we want to know if this has happened to you, let us know in the comments below. So that is all for this month's PS5 update, make sure to click the subscribe button and check out our gaming channel for PS5 gameplays. If you'd like to support our channel, then you can tip us on coffee.com or you can become a patron on patreon.com. Other ways you can support us is by sharing the video as it really does help us out a lot and follow our social media pages for more PS5 news. We appreciate you spending time to watch and share these videos. Let us know what games you are playing right now and if they're any good. But until next time...